Hello again, and in this video, you know, we're back at Liverpool, we're back on Pier Head, which is just an amazing location. You can just never spend enough time here. Every time you come, it's completely different. And tonight, it's the sunny night, which means the sun is right in front of me over there, just over the River Mersey. And behind us, we have the three most iconic buildings, potentially in the, in the country, but definitely in Liverpool. We've got the Liver Building, the Cunard Building, and the Port of Liverpool Building. Very, very regularly photographed. What, what I'm going to try and do this time is, I'm just, I've just come to this place next to the Mersey Ferry Terminal, which is, um, which is just there, and which is a very modern building, and that's got some very angular shapes that kind of go out. And because it's a clear blue sky, it's not, it's not the easiest thing to take pictures of without it looking like a picture postcard, and this will look like a picture postcard. But what we're going to try and do is take a picture of um, the Port of Liverpool building with the, uh, the chap on the horse, and I should probably know who that is, but the chap on the horse there, um, with the corner of the Mersey um, ferry building in, in, the, in the frame also. And just in the distance, there's another really modern building, a black um, glass building, which uh, you can probably just see through the archway there. So we're going to try and get all, all four of these buildings in the frame, the whole of the Port of Liverpool building and then bits of the other, the other three, just kind of framing around it. Um, so I'm just going to move around a little bit. So I get, I get to a point where the corner of the Mersey Ferry Terminal is not interfering with the, with the Port of Liverpool building. And I just move around here. And if I just literally creep around, there we go. And that's the frame. So let's just take a look at that. So as I say, we've got, we've got the three buildings roughly um, framing the, the Port of Liverpool building. One of the challenges you'll get in a location like this is people. And you can, you've got two options with people. You either wait and wait and wait until you get a frame where there's no people. And of course, one thing you can tell with these days is that thing above me, which is a drone. So there is somebody around here flying a drone. If I had a shotgun, they wouldn't be flying a drone anymore um, because I shoot the drone out of the sky. They are very noisy and very irritating. I take some great pictures and get some great footage from them, but sometimes they just irritate you. Um, so with people, you either wait around until there's nobody in the frame, which you could be waiting for a very long time, or you use your Photoshop skills to, to just remove people. There is a third option, which is using a neutral density filter to really extend your, um, your shutter speed, 30 seconds or so, and walking people through your frame won't register on the sensor, so they won't be there. Um, tonight, I've just waited around for a little while until there's nobody in the frame. Um, like there is now. I'll just try that, that again. The other challenge we've got, and I don't know if you can see this on the film, is because the sun is quite low and it's, and it's in front of me over there, I have got a super long shadow, as is the tripod that's got the video camera on it, and, uh, and that is absolutely going to be visible in the frame if you're not careful. So you need to be very conscious of capturing your own shadow and that of your tripod in the frame because it does look a bit silly if you see it. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, They've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.